Hello guys, welcome to my bioinformatics tutorial. My name is Vincent and I'm a student from the University of Ghana. Today we are going to look at how to perform the novel assembly. And the tool we are going to use is SPIT. The SPIT is a software that runs on the Linux platform. And this is the home page where you can download the software as well as the manual for running it. The data set we are going to use is from this paper. So it's um, a, a genome of <coughs> mycobacterium ossorans, and this is the isolate, the name of the isolate. So the sequencing was done on two platforms. One was Illumina, the other was Nanopo. But we are going to use the Illumina platform data, which was streamed and then given the accession number. This. So it has been dumped on the SRA archive. Let's dig right into it. So I'm clicking this particular accession number. <laughs> Embedded within it is a link. So the link sends you here. So once you click on the accession number, it sends you to the next page here. And then you can click on data access. That will give you the links them to the Illumina sequence. So it's a paired end sequence. So you can see you have R1, you have R2. So first of all, I already have my speeds um, set up on the HPC platform that I use. But I'm um, you have to download the data set. So first of all, let me make my directory. And then I cd to it. Then I will download the data sets. I'm, I have the download links, which are here, this and this. So I'm going to use the wget to download um, the two data sets. So I have my wget command, and then I add the download link for the read one. So it starts downloading. Okay, so now that I have the data sets downloaded, we can proceed. First, let's confirm the ls command. Yes, so now we have um, the two data sets there. So now let me load uh, my speeds software. Okay, so speeds has been loaded. So before we proceed with the speeds, speeds, um, you can check the help command using speeds.py minus h. That gives you the help command. So we have the various options and then what um, they mean. Okay. So let's proceed. Now that we have the tested, let's proceed with the de novo assembly. So we have to add the inputs as well as specify an outputs um, directory and then some other options depend on what you want. So we use a simple command speeds.py add careful. So this particular um, option here careful it allows um, space to run with by reducing the number of mismatches and the short indels. That's what uh, this option does. So let's specify the output to that rule. And then let's see speeds out. So speeds after doing the de novo assembly will store or save all the results in this particular directory. Now let's add the paired in. So dash one we add the read one or the forward of the data and then dash two adds the read two or reverse here okay so now we can proceed so you can see it's running these outputs are displayed showing what it's doing. 
So depending on the size of the genome, it could take from a few minutes to several hours. So bear in mind. So if you have a computer with maybe a lot of um, CPU cores, you could also uh, give an argument. I think it's dash T and then specify the number of threads and then it can still run faster than what I'm using now. Okay, so now our de novo assembly is complete. Of course, if sometimes speed gives warnings, as you can see here, it says error correction and assembly warnings. Um, some of these errors, um, you might want to look into so you can ignore them, depending on um, your, your research questions. Of course, sometimes you can also consult other bioinformaticians to get their view on some of these ones. But this was just a demonstration of how you can perform the novel assembly, so I wouldn't go into those um, technical details. So we specify a directory. Yes, so this is what is specified, so it has been created. So if you look into that directory, you find several um, files being generated here. Now, if you are going to do your um, comparative analysis or other analysis with the assembled genomes, then the file that you'll be interested in is, is the scaffolds or the context. I will usually recommend the context um, for you. Yeah, so this is the context. <coughs> so in the context, you have um, several short sequences, sequences with short lengths in this particular um, quantic faster file. So let's see how many of them are there. I'll use this to check how many contexts are present. Okay, so we have 2,661 contexts there. So you can do further processing with this and we shall look at that in subsequent tutorials. So let me go again with the commands we use for speeds. Yes, so this is the command we use to perform the genome assembly then it should work for other genome that you might have in the future. Okay, so that will be all for now. Have a nice bioinformatics day. Bye-bye.